Hello everyone and welcome to another Minecraft video. I am Lunixia and in this video I'm going to be going over this redstone contraption behind me. This is a two-phased automatic potion brewing contraption. Yeah, contraption. That's what we'll be talking about today. So if you find this video helpful, please drop a like and subscribe. I'll be doing some more of those in the future, Minecraft and non-Minecraft. And we'll, we'll see how that goes in the future. Also, I do stream on Twitch Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday at 8 p.m. Central Time, 8 p.m. until whenever I get tired and go to sleep. Let's get to it. We have here, we have me. Okay, over here we have, we're gonna start with the, with the hopper clock. The hopper clock back here is a vertical hopper clock. It's a little bit different on this side because it only has the, the redstone is a little more accurate uh, as far as Wow, my alarm just went off. As you can see, the comparator goes straight into a block with a distance of one block. So whatever signal is coming off the comparator and coming off the hopper into the comparator, that's going to be the most accurate uh, redstone signal strength. And it takes emptying the hopper completely in order for the piston to move over. So 64 items is exactly what you need for this build for the timing for the redstone circuit. Also, make sure that when you do your redstone up here, make sure that if you're in 1.16, the updated version with the nether update, make sure you have your redstone right here as the plus sign and make sure it's not the dot. I'll show you what it'll do if it's the dot and not the plus sign. So we'll wait till this actually pushes all the way over. So if you have this as the dot, it'll actually won't power the piston. It just won't. So it has to, the hitbox of the redstone has to be in the plus sign so that it touches the piston and can power it. And we'll take you to phase one to get started. So phase one, this is the phase one potion brewing station. The, the way I have mine set up right now is the it goes from right to left. It's kind of backwards. We always write left to right, right? That's how you write on paper. But anyway, this is right to left. So this is phase one. Phase two is over here. If you had more phases with this build going on, you'd have phase three over here, four, five, and whatever the heck this is over here. We don't care about it. It's actually a tree farm. I was testing out some stuff. But anyway, so this is phase one. We have water bottles being fed into here. We have our first modifier, which is fermented spider eye. Fermented spider eye turns these into potion of weakness. Potion of weakness comes from... Yeah, the water bottle comes in right here. We have the fermented spider eye coming from the top. By the way, the, the modifier has to come in from the top. The bottles can come in from the side and the fuel can come in from the side, but the modifier has to come in from the top. So as you can see, we have a hopper chain coming from up here. Follow that up there. By the way, I will be having this world in a link in the description in case I miss anything or in case you just wanna go into spectator mode and view this yourself. You can feel free to do that. You can actually feel free to do that now if you want to. Just skip the video, download uh, the vi download the world, and see what you like about this. All I ask is you just drop a like and subscribe on the video. Especially if you're gonna do that, if you're gonna download, if you're gonna download the world, obviously you like the video enough to check it out. So, gotcha. Anyway, so we have indicators coming off these these chests right here. We have comparators going into redstone lamps that indicates that they are full enough. They are still have at least one item inside of each of these chests. And when they get completely empty, then they'll turn off, which means the redstone torches will turn on, which means they will turn on this shut off circuit. Same thing with this guy. This this comparator reads the uh, the contents of this hopper back here through the block. Amazing, I know. I didn't believe it until I verified it myself. So um, when this empties. And there's only stuff inside of the dispenser this will shut off which will also trigger the shut off circuit which basically makes it to where nothing runs anymore on phase one or phase two and that's pretty much oh that's not it for phase two so when the signal comes through here so when the hopper clock changes from off to on the observer observes this redstone lamp right here whether it's changes to on it sends a pulse out to the rest of the circuit and when it powers to the opposite it does the same thing so it it's a redstone signal powers this repeater powers this block powers that repeater powers that block let's go ahead over here 
When this block is powered, redstone torch gets turned off, unlocks that hopper, powers the top of this block, and it powers this, this comparator here. The signal runs over the top into this into this repeater. It also runs back over it into this loop. It, keep, it stays powered for a little bit, for a couple cycles, and it's what's called a pulse extender. So the pulse this block receives from this repeater gets extended long enough for this torch to be off just enough time for all three of these bottles to be extracted from the brewing stand and just enough time for this repeater to go into this hopper and keep it locked so that it's not pouring water bottles into the brewing stand while this hopper is unlocked so it's a nice little switcheroo there making sure things are powered on things are locked and unlocked at the right times so that things are flowing smoothly that's phase one phase two is pretty much the same thing with, with some small adjustments phase two is obviously we have to get the potions from a low elevation to a higher elevation because that's how things are going to flow through hoppers yeah always go from high to low never go up unless of course one day vanilla introduces the upper into vanilla minecraft i doubt that's going to happen but you know one can one can hope anyway these <laughs> these potions get put through here this this first dropper down here and then to this dropper using a hopper not a hopper a observer clock this this comparator powers this piston which is a sticky piston which pushes down an observer into another observer and creates an observer clock as you can see right here this is about to happen it's about to flicker this redstone a couple times and there we go and that triggers the redstone um, up here via this observer and you have power and power and it goes into a hopper pretty sweet pretty small pretty concise awesome goes to the hopper hopper chain brings it down to the brewing stand and there's that now this side phase two is a mirror image of phase one as you can tell over here the brewing stand has a torch to the right this brewing stand has a torch to the left it's an exact mirror image you don't have to do them you don't have to do mirror images of these things like if you want to you can make them however you want um and be happy with it if you want you can actually stack these on top of each other if you want to as well you can have this module this phase one like way up in the air and just have it flow down into phase two if you wanted to totally up to you not about doing it that way because i do like taking up vertical space more than i like taking up horizontal space so i, I may just do it that way i figured i'd do it this way because it kind of sets them side by side and you can kind of see how they work that way. But maybe in my survival server, if you ever stop by and see that, maybe I'll show you exactly how I did it because I haven't decided yet and I haven't built any of this yet. So and maybe I can get one of you to suggest what I should do. Anyway, phase two is that's where come, that's where the potions come through. And when if this if this hopper chain were to get backed up, that's what this comparator is for. This comparator will power this block, which will power this this uh Redstone torch, which will trigger this delay circuit right here. This delay circuit um, has some about three to five seconds of delay in it before actually shutting off the hopper right here via this piston. This piston right here, which pushes down this redstone block into these repeaters, which repeaters put a signal into this hopper, which locks it. So if for some reason this gets backed up because maybe the storage is full or whatever reason if this gets backed up once it has one item constantly in there this will trigger and turn this hopper off me saying don't accept any more into this hopper chain because it's going to make a mess all right also there is a video in the description there's a link in the description for the video on this delay circuit right here i did a more in-depth video because it's something i thought of myself at least I think I did. I never saw anybody else make it. So, and I, I had to come up with it for a previous farm, which is way over there in a previous video. So since I thought of it myself, I mean, I'd be the first person who thought of it. I decided to make a YouTube video on it and I hope you enjoy that video as well. So again, same redstone signal from the right, from the same hopper clock. It comes over here and uh, sends a pulse into that circuit. Does the same exact thing, same exact timing and goes into storage now this one since this is the last phase for what we want the product at the end that we want is a splash potion of weakness our modifier is gunpowder for the purpose of this world for testing uh and such i am putting this into lava because i didn't feel like having the chest get full 
so that things can just keep flowing and you can just keep it, you can keep seeing it work and all that awesomeness. Now, the cool thing about some of these, far, some of these uh, phases, you can have things porting in from other places. You can have, if you had a, someone just making a crap ton of fermented spider eyes, you can have that coming from a silo at some point. You maybe hopper mine carts or something to where it's constantly bringing a couple over here and there, here and there. Uh, blaze powder, make a double chest, maybe make a little, a mini silo here and fill it up all the way and you'll be good for, I don't even know, until Jesus comes back maybe. Same with this side, like it lasts for a long time. You know, uh, gunpowder, you can have a creeper farm um, somewhere off in the distance, a little minecart coming over here and dropping off some gunpowder every every so often. Maybe a drop off station with some redstone, something like that. Oh, I did not explain how this works. This actually makes, uh, as long as there's water bottles in here, if you have a witch farm nearby, you can have the glass bottles over here. And it does take a while to get through these. But every time this redstone signal fires off, this circuit fires off, this this observer sees it, which fires off this redstone lamp, which that observer sees that, and it fires off the dispenser, which makes more water bottles. When this hopper, when this hopper is finally stuck with water bottles, that, that turns on, which means it kind of cancels out the whole effect this thing has, that this this observer here. Because if as long as this is powered on, this doesn't care. It's, it's just staying on. It's not gonna, you guys get it. I know, I know you guys get it. Anyway, that's a little safety shutoff so we don't have bottles just being made infinitely and, and lagging the server out. So that's a little safety shutoff. It's, it was actually pretty simple to add that in there. It's pretty low tech actually. So that's that. Uh, let's see what else we got here. If any of these shutoff signals trigger because you ran out of, because you ran out of a resource. Now, just because the chest is empty doesn't mean you actually ran out of the resource. It just means that it's time to fill up before stuff doesn't happen anymore. So it's just a safety, just shut off everything and let's go kind of kind of thing. So we want the, um, that's what we want here. We want these things to turn the torches to turn on. If any one of these torches turn on, so let's just say I ran a just blaze powder, just for some reason I ran a blaze powder first. This would turn on, it would shut off the, it would shut off the entire phase one and phase two. Or maybe I ran out of gunpowder and blaze powder was still full. It would shut off phase one and phase two. Same thing with this side. Fermented spider eyes, I ran out, I need more eyes. Then it would turn off the whole thing. Water, same with water bottles, same with blaze powder over here. If any one of these resources run out, it will turn off the entire thing, which is great because it's a good indicator of, hey, I need to pay more attention to my brewing station, automatic farm thing, contraption, more words to follow and also it can maybe uh give you some aspiration to link this up to some sort of automated farm and it also keeps things from breaking right we don't want things breaking in the middle of our survival games so yeah that is pretty much everything in a nutshell if you go into spectator mode there's not much more to see there, there is a little slight piece of underground work here as far as the piston sticky piston pushing observer down there's an observer right below it. There's an observer right below the block that this is sitting on. And if I can jump up here, it fires into, a, I believe, a repeater that goes into this block. Does it go into a repeater that goes into that block? Yeah, it goes into a repeater that goes into that block. So that redstone fires off uh, just as fast as the, as the observer fires, which is pretty cool. So yeah, that is pretty much the overview of this farm. I hope I covered everything. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment or just stop by the stream on Twitch. Uh, link in the description below. Um, feel free to drop by the channel and see what we're up to. Hopefully, as, again, hopefully when you stop by, we're playing Minecraft so you can ask questions. If you're not playing Minecraft, just, hey, hang out anyway, see what's up. And, you know, get to know us a little bit. I don't bite much. So um, again, it, it, also, if you found this, also, if you found this video helpful, please uh, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. I'll be doing some more videos in the future. Anything I design myself, anything I haven't seen before, I come up with. I come up with myself. I do do a YouTube video for it, so I try not to watch um, a lot of YouTube videos. I, sometimes I do have to get some ideas, but um, I do not copy anyone's builds. If I copy someone's build, I'll, I totally give them credit on stream or on a YouTube video. If you uh, 
if you go back to one of my uh my sheep farm videos uh i gave omg craft credit for this one specifically right here because that was a direct copy of his build right here these ones are mine but this one was definitely from omg craft total credit to him for that again i don't mind giving credits where people you know deserve credit and it's totally their thing but yeah this is something i came up with it's probably not the most optimal thing ever but it does do exactly what i want it to do and i'm sure eventually i'll, I'll find ways to shrink it down a little bit more but that is the end of the video again if you like subscribe stop, stop by the twitch channel say what's up links are in, in the description the world the world download will be in the description as well if you want to fool around with this world yourself so i did find a small problem with uh this little circuit here this this is the front and i forgot that certain things have to be powered otherwise this delay circuit will not work so this is a modified version of uh the one over there and the one in the other video but basically i put a a torch on the left side of this block so right where you can't see it left side and there's a torch up here which powers ends up powering this piece of redstone which which locks this hopper when it needs to, when it needs to be locked so that was missing in the other video so just in case anyone caught that i actually caught it too so good for you if you caught it if you didn't catch it hey it's one thing that uh i don't know it's one of those things like oh okay it's one of those ideas i can i can throw at you so i did fix this just, just in case and this will be in the download in the link so that this this part is updated in the in the download world I think that's it guys. It, again, I'm Lunixia. Thank you for watching the video and looking forward to some of your comments and we will see you in the next video. Later.